What is poppin' people? Jay Bear here, bringing you all BBR week number four going up against Keegan and the Olympique Flygon. And we are 3-0 and in BBR, but we're joined by a couple of other coaches at 3-0. and I would really like to move to 4-0 and and hopefully lose some of them along the way um, as we push for one of the tighter playoff races that I think we'll see in leagues. And I'm excited to... Um, try to push for that playoff run this season, but I do think the schedule kind of picks up a tad moving forward, so I would like to try to grab a few more wins, secure myself a playoff berth as early as possible. Um, we see this uh, matchup this week. I've got Torn, Iron Bundle, Terra Electric, and Terra Water, Scizor, um, Zerud, Enamorous, Therian, Sandy Shocks, Glade, Blissey, Quillfish, and Nismagius going up against Dragapult, Volcarona, which is Terra Fire and Terra Fairy. Um, uh, Iron Hands, Deancey, Vaporeon, Iron Jugulus, um, Yuxi, uh, Low Kicks, Cryogonal, Palisand, and Taurus. And this week, main threats to me are that top three, I think. Uh, they are all pretty scary. Um, good news is Blissey kind of does make him have to prep in a more unique way. Even if I don't uh, bring it, I do think that his prep will be shaped by it. Um, because, you know, he's going to have to try to bring a Dragapult with consideration of Blissey. Uh, obviously, a Quiver Dance Volcarona cannot beat Blissey. Um, so he'll have to try to come up with a good way to try to beat that. But momentum into Iron Hands on my Blissey is quite scary. So I do think that, like, yes, it shapes prep a little bit. We might not see a Quiver Dance Volcarona. We might see a U-Turn Volcarona. But it's still scary. Um, and I've kind of prepped in a way to deal with that. And I do think Terra Fire is his more likely bring. Terra Fairy leaves him liable to Scizor Bullet Punch Revenge option. And he does not particularly appreciate Scizor here. Um, it can do quite well into him. However, I do not bring it here. I do not. Um, I kind of bring an interesting team. Let's uh, let's get right into it. Interesting team comp. I've got Sandy Shocks up first with Earth Power, Stealth Rock, Volt Switch, and Body Press. I've got uh, Earth Power, Volt Switch, you know, for stabs. Rocks up is quite nice, and Body Press is for Cryogonal. I do expect Cryogonal here, and I actually have a little bit of prep for it. Um, you know, a surprising amount, but I think we'll work out. Up next, Iron Bundle with U-Turn, Freeze Dry, Terra Blast, and Hydro Pump. The goal is to get that uh, Terra Blast to be as spammable as possible with the Choice Specs Terra Blast. Finding that endgame is, is ideal. Um, we've got U-Turn, which we will be hammering while Vaporeon and Cryogonal are still alive. I think only one of them will have room to come. Uh, I expect Cryogonal, it actually does surprisingly well into my team, and having the Rapid Spin option for him could be cool. Um, but if he d And if he does have the Rapid Spin option, it means less boots, and less boots helps my Quillfish later. Um, I'm just going to skip to the Quillfish right now, it should be in the first slot. I did build the team starting with Quillfish, but I have it in the fifth slot, you know, just for a little bit of bluffing. Like, it's not a guaranteed lead, it is a guaranteed lead. We've got Toxic Spikes, Taunt, Liquidation, and Destiny Bond. Um, no grounded poison here, Shady removal means the toxic spikes are going to go up, and his only removal is Cryogonal, which we have Mismagius for, so they will hopefully stay up. Taunt um, is nice for like a lead Yuxi or something, where I could taunt it. Uh, liquidation, just for like any amount of damage, and Destiny Bond, you know, it's a solid click. Um, I don't think I need Thunder Wave, because I want to be like spreading statuses and stuff. And then Enamorous T, we've got Earth Power, Moon Glass, Super Power, Draining Kiss. Similar Enamorous to what we've brought most weeks. So Super Power is actually interesting because it will do damage to Cryo in a way that, um, you know, the other moves don't not, do not, especially like the special moves when Cryo is going to be like pretty specially defensive for Iron Bundle if it comes. So yeah, I do I do feel a bit tunneled for Cryo thinking about it, but like. You know, it's nice to actually be prepped for it when I am pretty sure Cryo was drafted specifically for this matchup. Um, up next, Miss Magius with Mean Look, Calm Mind, Shadow Ball, and Draining Kiss. This set might be a bit overcooked, I do not know, but if he brings the Cryo, it's quite nice because um, he doesn't really have a great Miss Magius switching. Um, if the Cryo comes, so I expect him to like stay in for a little bit, be like, huh, well, I wall this, I can get through a freeze dry. 
Psych, that's when we pull out the Mean Look Calm Mind, and then shit gets dicey for him. We got Draining Kiss to stay healthy. Um, we do play a bit with Freeze Luck, but, um, you know, eventually it'll come in clutch, and I think, you know, we'll be able to boost up and stay um, healthy with Draining Kiss. And then we've got Glade last with Sacred Sword, Psycho Cut, Knock Off, and Teleport. I think knocking off boots is quite nice, uh, knocking things, plenty of things off. Um, I might regen my Glade, depending on how the EVs look on it. I don't remember what exactly I put on it, but, um, yeah, I need to regen this Glade because I don't have speed for Dragapult. I need speed for Dragapult. Um, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching this team builder. I will see you guys in the battle with a properly gen Glade so that I have speed Dragapult. All right, and we are connected to Keegan. Um, let's lead the Quillfish, obviously, get our Toxic Spikes up, and go from there. Um, yeah, I am pretty happy with the six that he brought. Palisand, not super expected, but, you know, bundle food right there, so can't really complain. And yeah, goal is to put ourselves into that Terra Blast endgame. And to do that, T-Spikes will be nice, I think. And obviously prevent a Volcarona from uh, Quiver Dancing up and stuff like that, which might be a bit scary, but I think we've got this. Um, the Gallade will outspeed non-scarf Dragapult, which I was like, yeah, should do that. Um, interested to see what he might bring. He could just go full physical with um, Phantom Force. That's totally a valid bring too. But yeah, I don't know what more to say other than let's hope that we can uh, pop off here. Um, as for his leads, I could see like Uxie lead. Um, Raw Cryo lead's definitely annoying, but Quillfish should underspeed T Spike up and then I can go Miss Mag. Uh, Pult lead is fine, even through Clear Body, I should live. Darts from Bandit? He leads Uxie. Um, I'm gonna taunt this thing, I think. Or I can be safe and get the T-Spike up. Seeing the six that he brought, I feel like it's fine to just taunt. Yeah, I'm just gonna taunt. Hopefully we're faster and we don't see U-Turn. to import my team into the cap and we get the taunt off. Falls for the taunt, show me rocks, he U-turns, that's bad. That's bad. Um... I wonder what he wants to go into? But... That was definitely not part of the plan. If he goes hands, I can, that's fine, I can just get my T-Spike up still. That is... Hands. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna get my T-Spike up. Um, I think T-Spike will be quite, quite nice here. Um, and I'm fine with that type of... Um, I'm fine with that type of risk. Um, for those curious, the Dragon Darts would have had a chance to kill me, but that's actually from Adamant, and I think he would go Jolly. And I would live Jolly. He EQs. Should live that. That's great. I'm going to debond. Um, hopefully he doesn't scout for debond. That would actually be incredible if he doesn't scout for D-Bond and we get hands right off the lead. Um, I don't think I need two T-Spikes here. We D-Bond. If he doesn't attack me, I'll get my second T-Spike up. 
And he thunder punches. Great. Iron Hands is gone. Oh, sorry. Let me give you guys the layout. Along with a lack of... Oops. Along with a lack of... Quillfish and Iron Bond... Or Iron Hands. That's not Iron Hands. Along with a lack of Quillfish and Iron Hands. Super duper happy off of lead to see that. Um... I wonder how many boots he has. As for where he could go now, I could see Cryo Raw, I could see Yuxi. I'm gonna go into my bundle. If he goes Cryo, you turn into... Um... You turn into... Ch -ch 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 -ch, uh, Miss Mag, obviously. That's the plan with that mom. Um... If he goes Polt, probably have to go Enamorous. Um, even though, like, Spec Shadow Ball is up, I don't think he has Specs here, let's see. That is Cryo. If your Scarf Spin, that would be impressive. I'm just gonna U-turn into the Mismag, make my play that I, uh, engineered, uh, in prep. This is, like, my most engineered thing of the week. <laughs> um, try to keep the hazards off. If you Scarf Spin, like I said, great prep. Um, I really don't think you go Scarf Spin. Um... But it would it would cook my uh, T spike away here. But then it's also really easy to deal with because I get in my gully and I can knock things off and go from there. We do reveal the Terra Water. And we get the U-turn off. Do a decent chunk, that's like 10 15 percent. Great. Um, I'm gonna go into my Ms. Magius and respect. So it's like, yes, revealing the Terra type isn't exactly optimal, but like, it's it's Terra Water Bundle. Like, he freeze dries. Okay, that does not do a lot. That's great. No freeze. Hopefully, he stays in, seeing that like he doesn't have a great Ms. Magius switch in. And I can, uh, mean look at right here. If he goes hard pull, in impressive play. Um, if he goes Volk, that's fine. I think you can see I'm up in front of it. Um, hopefully he stays in. But yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. Now every time Bundle comes in, pretty much I will get a kill. Cool. He's stuck with the cryo. He recovers? That's great. That's actually perfect. Okay, cool. Now we're just gonna Calm Mind up. And then, provided he's not like Phantom Force Pult, this could be game. Or like Shed Shell here. I don't think he'd be Shed Shell. I really like, unless you hard call this set, there is no reason to be Shed Shell. Uh, we could have to dodge some potential um, freezes from Freeze Dry, but like, we're gonna have so many potential turns to call, so like, I can just freely set up here. I was worried this set wasn't gonna cook, but it looks like it's doing its thing. I can just freely set up. Okay, he has Haze. That's fine. I can just Shadow Ball through this thing still. Like, it's still trapped, so... Like, I can PP stall pretty easily. I think. Haze does have high PP, but Recover doesn't. And he doesn't have lefties, so... That does, yeah, absolutely nothing. Freeze Dry comes out, that's fine. Might have been a backfire, but I can call mine once. Haze was a good bring. Did not account for that too well, not gonna lie, but... Like, a Gallade coming in and knocking at a good opportunity is also fine. He freeze dries, that's fine. Like, I'm still here to spin block, which is fine. He still doesn't have the good Miss Meg switch-ins. If only I went for Taunt instead of Calm Mind uh, in prep, that would have been 
straight brain. Um, here, this would have gotten through the cryo. Cool. He has to haze, and now he has to recover. And I can get in my Gallade on said recover. I think. That's fine. Um, yeah, I can just go Gallade on said recover, and then either teleport or knock. I think knock is fine. Knock is, yeah, knock is definitely the play. Yeah. Okay. Probably has, I don't know what last move would fit, but yeah, knock will do great damage here. Um, definitely damage to the Yuxi. Um, Night Slash would be a 2 KO. Could go Palisand too, but like between like Poison, Knockoff, it'll be doing good damage even if he's like Culprit. Um, and if he's Boots, then those are just gone. Yeah. Cool. Switch does come out, but yeah, that's fine. Knockoff obliterates everything. That is Yuxi. Okay, physically defensive. Is that helmet? No, it is lefties. Um, I... Rocks could go up here. He could Thunder Wave as well. I think Miss Meg is fine as a play. If he, like, Rocks is up, that's fine. If he U-turns, that's also fine. If he... I don't know. Yeah. So now next time Glade comes in, it can force a kill with Knock. Um, rocks could go out here for sure. I wish this Miss Mag got to like fully cook. He just U turns. Okay, that's fine. Do we see Dragapult come out now? I assume it does. Maybe cry out. He could be rocked on the Palestine and not have him on the UC2. That is... Dragon Ball, are you boots? You are boots, okay. That's fine. I can go into my Enamorous. Yeah. Let's just like specs hydro due to that stupid snowflake. The specs hydro is a two at KO. Um, granted. You have to click it and stuff, but how much do I care about continuing to prevent spin? Because yeah, there's the cryo. Um, how much do I care about continuing to prevent the spin? Because I can either go Gallade or go Miss. Mag. I think I go Miss Mag first, and then I can switch into Gallade. Um, just to make sure that no spins come out. But we do know practically the full four moves, so. He freeze dries. Um. Yeah, now I'll go Gallade. If he doubles, makes a good play. Fine. Okay, he 
freeze dries, that's fine. If he gives me the boots on this, then it's fine to just get bundle um, in. And just, um, or like, it's fine to get Sandy Shocks and to get rocks up, is what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah. Cool. He swaps again into probably the Upsi. Oh, is that the Palisade? Yeah, okay. Are you boots on this thing too? No, okay. You're poisoned. No helmet is on this thing anymore. Um, I can... I can knock here. Um, maybe I missed the kill. I think I definitely missed the kill, but... Yeah. Worst case, um, he shores up, but he'll have to do it twice and I can get in my bundle and do that. Sludge bombs, trying to catch an amorous probably, but that's fine. This palisand should be going down right here. Yes. Okay. Great. We are up in mons again. Assuming Yuxi comes out here. Um, yeah. You gotta scout for the scarf. Can't go into Pult or Volk because of that. Actually, could go Volk, but shouldn't. Yeah. So that is Yuxi. I will go. Miss Maggie is here again. I think that's fine. Like, losing my Miss Maggie is definitely fine. And if he decides to get rocks up, then... I can just go into Bondle, I think. I don't think he raw gives me this. He just U-turns, that's fine. I think he's Colt, probably, and I will just Shadow Ball. Um, and zap this. Knowing that nothing is affected by T-Spikes at this point, pretty much guaranteed. And like, if he overpredicts on a U-turn play, that's fine, he'll just go into the Cryo. Um, yeah. That, he just goes into the Cryo now, save some time. Um? Okay. I'm just gonna like draining kiss up a little bit of health. Probably not gonna profit health actually. He freeze dries. Yeah. I can go into my Galate again. Yeah, I can go Galate again. And once again, hammer and knock, I think. Cool. Yeah, we're alive, that's what matters. And I can knock off. And then I need to hold on to this for the rest of the game to revenge Dragon Pool. Am I weak to Volcarona? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Oh, 
bomb? That's fine, if I never let it set up. If he gives me knockoff on this, we're in a great position. If he does not, he's gonna give me Yuxi. Um, so if I knock here, then I potentially give both the opportunity to win, and I don't want to do that, so I will go into Sand Shocks. I think that's the right play. Um, I, yeah, don't give Volk the opportunity to set up and win. Granted, Sandy might do that, but it shouldn't, because he has to, like, be weird for the power tower to tear up the pieces and stuff like that. Yeah, he just U-turns into probably Cryo, and I can body press that and really get it in range of where it needs to be. Yeah. Okay, great. This health doesn't matter to me. Um, that's great. Cool. Um, I can Volt Switch now. I'm not sure if you give this to me. Worst case, I just go Miss Meg. Um, yeah. Worst case, I just sacked this mag. He switches. Perfect. Incredible. Probably into Yuxi. Yeah. He barely chews. That's fine. I can go Bundle. And Terra Blast. Um, yeah, I just Terra Blast. This gives me the best position for, like, Volcarona and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm really worried about Volk. How do I handle a Dragapult Boots hit? with this Iron Bundle. And Terra Blast drops the Uxie. Um. Okay, so Thunderbolt is a roll, 37.5% from nothing boosting this Dragapult. So, with that in mind, um, I will try to preserve my Iron Bundle at 100%. So, yeah. Now I can start spamming Psycho Cut with my Gallade. Even avoids Flame Body, avoids Terra Fairy, avoids all that nonsense. I do have to switch because I am choice specs. Um, into Miss Magsack, I think. Although, that might let Volk win if. Yeah, hmm. Should. I don't know. I don't know, man. Probably should've gone Sandy Shocks. It is what it is.
Hopefully he goes for an attack. He dragon darts his- okay, cool. Good to know. That was his move of choice. Does Delayed Guaranteed Oko Dragapult from full? No. Um, so I can go into... Um... So, like, what I can do is... Enamorous... Superpower. Kill the Cryo. I think I superpower kill the Cryo. Try to deny it, recover opportunity. Cool. So now Cryo's dead. I did heavily prep for the Cryo. No shame. Um... He shouldn't be Quiver Volk into Blissey, right? Maybe I'm overreacting about nothing for no reason. I think I'm overreacting about nothing for no reason. Truly. Oh, it is not boots. I should have gotten those rocks up. Um, I expect Terra Fairy then. It is not boots. I really should have gotten those rocks up earlier. That's fine. Um, non boots? Is that like, gonna be like specs? Quiver? Is he gonna quiver? He does quiver. Okay. I don't have any priority. This could be bad. This could be really bad. I think I gotta go into something to force an attack, so... I think I go the lead. I think I lose to quiver. Mm, yeah, I did not position well around the quiver. End game. Unless he's no recovery. If he's no recovery, I might have a chance with Enamorous coming back in. Or like if I force a Terra Fairy or something. I don't know why he would Terra, but... If I force an attack that isn't Giga Drain... Yeah. I think I lose. That's unfortunate, but you know it had to happen eventually. And just quiver again. Is he gonna have Giga Drain? If he has it, he'll click it here. Yeah, I wish I had rocks. If I had rocks, then I could have played that better with the rocks up for sure. Let's see, does he Giga? Because if he doesn't have Giga, he should be fine. Unless he probably has some sort of recovery if it's like roost or something. You know, crit from Enamorous could do it. Might be looking at like a Shadow Sneak Calc or something right now. Which. You know, if he like roosts up or like no roosts, but morning sun's up in front of like a potential shadow sneak, that could be bad for him. He Terra's here. Show me Terra Fire. But it's gonna be fairy. Cool. That's fine. I can still get technically some stronger amount of moon blast versus um I got Okay, he fiery dances. Maybe I do have a shot. No boost. I do see a boost. Maybe a Nam can like live. 
and do 25 with a Moon Blast. That's what I'd need, 25%. the damage that it should do if I live I don't know if I do it's plus three I have a little bit of chip on me depends on his EVs probably it's probably EV to be really bulky too so I wonder what his plan was for Blissey with this then he does have morning sun okay yeah that's good unless I crit like heavily. I need to crit like right here, right now. Come on, Anamorous. I know you're capable. I know what you are capable of. He's playing a dangerous game. Try to like, get a bunch of special type drops. Show me crit. No special type drop. That's fine. Show me crit right here. Live, have a crit. None of that. Okay, cool. Yeah, we lose. Unfortunate. Unfortunate way to go. I was like playing very consciously of it up until a point. And then I just kind of went off the deep end and just like lost to it. I'm trying to like, when I gave it the opportunity to set up. And I didn't click rocks earlier in the game. Come on, bundle. Somehow live. Magical. Magical bundle live. Psychic. Goldfish? Um. Yeah. That's an unfortunate way to go, but so be it. You know, it was bound to happen eventually. And yeah, probably could have. I feel like this Volk endgame was like inevitable to the team that I brought. If I didn't force it out earlier. But yeah, I probably needed like Bliss or something. But yeah, good game to Keegan. It is what it is. We will hopefully bounce back. I think I know we can bounce back and pick up some games later. But yeah. Good game, and I will see you guys next week.